Hey guys, Xbox here. Yeah, another little product slash overview before I actually get into the uh, get into the project itself. So you know, I have a couple slashes. I have a sort of a stock slash here. You know, and it's been running great. Been running these uh, Proline, I think Gladiator SSs for a long time, and they're just they're just starting to get worn out. So I wanted to try to do the uh, the one eighth one eighth scale buggy tire, as well as. Uh, use some of those 1A scale adapters to get them on there. So let me show these adapters here really quick. These are uh, by AKA. I got these right off eBay. I don't think they were 31. I think I spent, um, I don't know, about 26 shipped for them. Comes with all the hardware needed to uh, for your slash 4x4. Be careful because some of these I seen were for the uh, just the two-wheel drive slash. So they gave you two different front style hubs in comparison to all four of the same since, the, since I'm running it on the 4x4. And then I got some uh, brand new Duratrack lockups here, and these things are, you guys can see that, uh, I mean, like super aggressive tread. I didn't know they were like that aggressive. So I got also uh, two packages of those. Those were on eBay for, geez, uh, 21 bucks for a set. So I think it was like 46 bucks out the door, which was great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put these on here, and, and hopefully here in a second, you guys are gonna see how it looks again. You guys can see how. You know my slash looks with them, or with with the uh, with the stock tires. Again, I've had those for a long time, and it's time to move up. All right, I just wanted to go show you this really quick. So I popped out the uh, the kit stuff here. You can see it comes with all the bolts and all that jazz. So if you look here, it's super easy to to put on. You basically, you just take off your old uh, little drive hex right there, straighten that up. You put on the little hex here. It fits on. And then you grab this little piece here. I don't know if you guys can see that. And that goes right in the center, and that just spins on. And I'm not going to do it because it suggests Loctite to be put on there. But, uh, yeah, that goes inside that little hole. And then that's basically on there. So, um, yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. And hopefully the next time you see it, my tires will be on. Just like that, through the magic of uh, <laughs> through cameras here and video, the tires are now on. And, man, that thing looks mean with these things on here. Um... Wow, I don't know if I'm about to re uh, change my gearing or not or what, but I'm definitely gonna I gotta tighten these on a little more. I didn't have the things here, but yeah, jeez, uh, I'm definitely gonna run this and see how it, see how it handles and and goes. But I think this this tread might be a little too aggressive for where, where I ride. But there you go, guys. It's a little project. Um, I did very easy. I did this in about what ten minutes. Take them off, put them on. Uh, but I hopefully have some running videos here soon. Definitely subscribe if you guys haven't ready. And thanks again.